Hi, good morning, everyone. So, better today, I have a very, very important thing to go ahead and do with you. So, we want to go ahead and we want to take a small test, right? This test is to check how you are performing with your ISI preparations, okay? So, I've picked up a question from my ISI mock test series and I'm giving you this question today. And I am going to go ahead and discuss the solution in the next video. But I want all of you to go ahead and try this question yourself before I go ahead and I take this in my next video, right? So I will be taking the solution in my next video. But for today, I want all of you to go ahead and try this question on your own. You can take help from your friends. You can discuss within yourself. But try to go ahead and solve this entire question. It's a very simple question, let me tell you, right? Okay, let's start. So it says, consider that you are given real wage, W by P. And it is a real wage given to you where W is the nominal wage and P is the aggregate price level. So you are already given the nominal wage and price level. You are given that the demand of labor is a function of the real wage. Demand of labor is function of real wage. So here demand of labor is function of real wage. This is small w. And supply of labor is also given to you as a function of real wage. Right. Okay. So now this goes ahead and says that N is the employment level. N is the employment level. And Fn is the aggregate output. So you have output as a function of the number of labor employed. Okay. Very, very sim simple. Right, better. So look at part number A of this question. It says, find the aggregate supply equation such that the labor market clears. So all of us know that AS curve is de derived from the equilibrium of your labor market, right? So this is a very big hint. So you need to use the equilibrium condition of the labor market and find the equation of the AS curve. Okay. Then it says show diagrammatically. Second, look here, beta. It says consider the following change. Nominal wage minimizes the gap between demand and supply subject to constraint that W is greater than equal to W naught. So what it is saying, it is saying assume that there is some nominal wage W. As a koi ek nominal wage W exists karta hai, there is some nominal wage W and what this nominal wage is going ahead and doing, it is going ahead and it is minimizing the gap between demand and supply of labor but there is a constraint that this nominal wage is at least more than a particular gap, a particular uh, threshold, right? It is more than the, some W naught, right? It's more than some uh, wage that has been set by the government, right? So you can consider W naught as the minimum wage rate set by the government. So it says that consider that there is a nominal wage W this nominal wage W minimizes the gap between demand and supply, but it is subject to the constraint that, uh, you know, you have to be above your uh, minimum wage level, right? So it says now go ahead and find that equilibrium nominal wage. Also go ahead and find the equilibrium level of employment. So now you consider you need to go ahead and find the nominal wage and the equilibrium level of employment. Beta part number three. It says, consider that half is less than one minus W naught by P. Now you will derive this condition while solving the question. Kahi se ye condition aigi. That is why it is given in the question. So it says, assume that half is less than one minus W naught by P. Then derive the aggregate supply curve and sketch it. So now again, for this condition, you need to derive the AS curve and you need to sketch the AS curve, right? Okay, beta. Part number D to this question. Consider a one-time policy introduced by the government that increases the minimum level of wage. So, now the minimum level of wage tha na, this W0. So, imagine that now this has increased. Just imagine that this has 
increased this is what the question is saying so consider that there is a one time policy that that's increasing the minimum level of wage now you need to tell what will happen to the as curve how the as curve will change graphically you need to go ahead and show that also okay next part beta now consider a usual aggregate demand curve so you have to work with entire equilibrium you have derived the as curve you have to use a usual ad curve and assume that there is increase in government expenditure right now you need to go ahead and tell how the equilibrium level of price will change right so these are the five parts to this question i am giving you this as a full fledged test try to go ahead and solve this question and also take a timeline beta so try to do this within 20 to 30 minutes entire question okay and then i will go ahead and discuss this question in the next video okay beta thank you